Thank you for joining us today on Property Talk from Louise's Lounge. My name is Louise Heatley and I'm Managing Director of Exclusive Links Real Estate. And with over 17 years in the real estate industry, I know a few things and I know a few people. And through our podcast series, it's an opportunity to give you some insights into the Dubai real estate market, some interesting topics, some guest attendees, and it's also an opportunity for you to meet some of the team. Today we have joining us Adam Hassan, the Quality Control and Compliance Manager for Property Finder. Adam has called Dubai his home for over 20 years and he is responsible for a team whose primary objective is to ensure the content on their sites allows for the best possible user experience. We also have one of our own team, Chris Valentine, our Dubai Land Branch Manager. Chris has had over 20 years in the real estate market across international markets and he's responsible to coach and mentor our team of growing property professionals in all matters of the Dubai real estate market. Thank you gentlemen for joining us today on the series. Um, and Adam, um, could you give us a bit of background as to what Property Finder's role is in the real estate marketplace? Thanks for having me, Louise. You're very very happy to be here. Um, I, I feel that we are, uh, as all portals are, um, an innovator. So we didn't want to just be the one to follow the trend. We wanted to set the trends. It's why we did things such as verified listings before the permits existed, because we knew that there was a place for that. Uh, it depends on what market you're in. With Dubai, the market's still maybe not as mature as the Western market, so you have to play it a bit differently. But I feel that we want to be the ones to not just follow the trends, but set the trends. Mm. Um, along with the property owners who have to be well informed, the real estate companies have to play a part in that. Um, RERA obviously plays a humongous part in that. And I think there's a place definitely for the portals to fit in there, mm. along with us. So do you feel Property Finder is those, like that leading that market leader that really helps us raise the bars in real estate? That's what we try to be, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm putting you there. <laughs> I think uh, it would depend who you ask. Um, yeah. Maybe our competitors might think differently, but I'd like to think so. Mm. Certainly, we've always done things with that vision in mind. Mm. Um, we're not afraid, afraid to take risks. We're not afraid to buck the trends. You know, when we first introduced verified listings, a lot of people were very reluctant to give documents. There was a security concern. Not to mention, um, why should I give you them? Mainly because they didn't have them. They knew they were legal, they were required, but the owners were like, okay, get me a, get me a customer, then I'll fill the documents out. And we had to change that narrative to get it from the beginning to list it. Mm. Um, some of the companies were very open to it and some, it took some time, but it didn't put us off mm. because we believed it was the right thing to do for consumers, for the industry, and uh, we kept at it. And, went over a bit of a bump and, and, and we made it there, it's, I think. It's come out good now. Everybody's I think so, on yeah. board with yeah. it. It's just that initial. <gasps> and now we have the permits, which further complements that as well, which mm. is great. Mm. And Chris, from our side, from your side, our exclusive links, what role does Property Finder play for us and how much of our business do we get from Property Finder? Mm -hmm. um, Property Finder are integral to our business. Um, from, from exclusive links perspective, day, day one when, when we're with Louise and Zara, um, there's an obsession with people and property, but and um, we we uh, leverage the property finder portal against this. So what does that mean? It means that we work with our sellers, our buyers, our landlords, and our tenants and our property management business to deliver to deliver to the market highly qualified properties, um, which enable consumer choice. Um, and as, as Adam mentions, the, the verified listing is one key part of that, along with uh, working together with our premium and our featured listings, our community top spots. We use them as, as a communication tool to the market, whereby as, a, as an agency, we're selling highly qualified properties and displaying good choice for our buyers and our tenants. Mm. Um, so very important to us as a business. Um, they drive a number of inquiries and leads to us for, absolutely at, off the back of this. And I would say over 50% of our, of our generated business comes through the Property Finder portal. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, it's great to have, great to have such an such a innovative, innovative partner, really, in, mm. in the market. 
It does. We do get a lot of business from property Good. finance. That's so the thank plan. you. Thank you yes. for that. Yeah. Um, when we look at, and, and Chris touched on this about listings and, and verifications, when we look at um, the portal, how many listings in Dubai do you have on your portal? Um, and because today's subject is quality over quantity, do you consider that to be a realistic, healthy number? Yeah. Uh, we have about 100,000 listings. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> wow. Now, obviously, do I consider it to be a good number? That will depend. I mean, if you look at a European market, you have a much leaner number because typically you've got a limited number of brokerages advertising a single property. Mm. Here, um, there's more than just a couple. There's a lot of competition. Uh, it's a great country to do business in and a lot of people have decided to do that. And obviously everyone's been successful because they're still here. Um, so for me, it's, it's an overinflated, an over-exaggerated number mm. because we're not talking about 100,000 properties, no. we're talking about 100,000 listings. It's the same yeah. property yeah. listed multiple so, times. So um, to, to stand out in that kind of environment, you obviously need to have quality. Mm. So this is where I feel that we play a part in that, encouraging people to have good content, to verify their listings, um, to give a great customer service and a great customer experience to the clients because um, I think a lot of people, they might get good leads from Property Finder, but a good agent will get repeat business and referrals and that's all built from a good experience. Mm -hmm. So I think it's probably, yeah, it's probably very high, mm -hmm. but that's just the nature of the business. Yeah. I mean, if there's a lot of companies involved, um, you, you're gonna have a high number. Mm -hmm. It's not something that, I don't feel it's um, you know unsustainable because obviously uh, until they're, or until there is or, or may be a, a change in that perception where people decide that there's less requirement to have a lot of brokers working on a property, mm. then it's never going to change. I think that's down to the owners to mm. some extent. They feel that spreading their net wide is getting them the leads and, and the people that they need. I maybe don't feel the same way, mm -hmm. but it's not me yeah. uh, doing that. So it's, it's really a, a matter of personal choice. and. There needs to be maybe slightly a, a change in regulation to facilitate that change. Mm, it does have to come from that regulation, I think, yeah. to change the owner's listing, multi-listing with lots of different agents. And you've mentioned there about um, quality and verification. Can you give us a little bit more specifics? What do you perceive as a quality listing on your platform? Okay, uh, I think you have to look at the dynamics of the search experience. So first of all, the first picture, the first few pictures are key. It's Everyone looks at visuals before they look at letters and numbers and, and words. So the first picture is important. And then you've got your title because it's, again, the first thing you see. So a well-priced listing, obviously, it has to be realistic, but it has to be attractive. That has a very good picture. That has a brief but informative title that gives you something that isn't obvious from the amenities, from the pictures, maybe uh, that it's upgraded or the, the number of checks that's offered, although we've just added that in actually as an option recently. Uh, but something that gives you an additional feature to mm. the property, that for me is a quality listing. But then once you go inside, you need to have a description that gives you, you know, kind of an overall walkthrough of the property, gives you all the dimensions and all the aspects, and then images that back that up as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. And Chris, as an experienced member in the industry from the real estate side out in the field, how important is it for you, for the company, to have quality listings over the quantity? Because we've touched on the a number of listings and the quality, what's most important for? Um, for me, quality, absolutely. Um, and when, when we're looking at quality, Adam's touched on, on, on a few key indicators there. One is obviously a verified listing. Um, what does that mean for me as an agent? It means that I have a contract, a Form A, from the seller, enabling me to market the property um, and advertise it and view it at the price agreed. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh, transactions that, that I become involved in uh, can um, be littered with an a a element of ambiguity, mm. okay? Whereas if we've got a verified listing under contract with the Form A, with title deed, passport, good quality photos, and videography, which is one of the areas that we really pride ourselves on within exclusive links, you know that that's a highly qualified property, that if you come to buy it, you can transact on it. And that's, that's what appeals to buyers in the market for me. 
um, as an agent. Um, the, the, whole, the whole point of an agent is to sell a property or to introduce a buyer to said property. We, we collaborate with agents in the market. Uh, and quite frankly, if I, see, if I see a verified listing, I gravitate straight to that to collaborate mm -hmm. with that agent, with Even my you, buyers. As a, in the industry, you'll do that. 100%. As the consumers 100%. would, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because you're getting, you know, you know that that's under contract and that, that there is a motivation for, for, for business there to, mm -hmm. to collaborate. Um, and buyers and tenants will, will do the same. Um, so it, it's about quality. And from an agent's perspective, taking it to the next step as well, an agent's business is all related to the way they manage their time, mm. how, effectively, how effective their time management is within in the marketplace, right? So verified listings, quality properties enable us to, to really manage our time more effectively, to do good quality viewings with people who, 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 want, to, who want to transact. Um, so for me, it's certainly quality over quantity. Um, and um, Property Finder enable us to do that both mm on the platform and behind the scenes with the manager app and um, uh, linked to our CRM system, which, which, which is great, mm. yeah. And since we're kind of touching on the whole quantity versus quality, and you touched on it a little bit below, so I'm gonna go in there. What is your opinion on exclusivity or the multi-listing mm. system? What are your okay. thoughts on um, that? <laughs> obviously, I'm in favor of both <laughs> to an extent, um, but I think this it goes back to what I said before, that uh, my question would be, is our market ready for it? I think that when you have exclusivity, you have to have in a very elite level of brokers across the whole spectrum mm. to be able to facilitate that transaction. Like you can't have uh, someone getting exclusivity, not delivering on their promise, mm -hmm. and then that's gonna make people think, well, why did I give exclusivity? I see it happen quite a lot where we have someone as an exclusive broker, for whatever reason, they haven't been able to, not necessarily transact, but generate the level of interest in the property that the owner envisaged as an acceptable amount. Mm. Um, so for me, I think that the MLS is something that we're kind of leading towards that because, you know, we as right now are collaborating with RERA who are starting to give us um, insight into when the property is rented and sold based on the title, the number of Jukisi. For me, that's kind of gravitating towards an MLS to some extent. Mm. Um, where, wherein they are ultimately that multiple listing service. Um, for exclusivity, I feel that maybe Dubai, the market isn't quite ready for exclusivity because of the level of competition mm. um, and, and the amount of brokerages in the market. I don't necessarily think that you have to have exclusivity to be successful. Mm -hmm. um, obviously from an individual business perspective, it's great because you kind of can forecast your your expectations a lot better um, but I think limiting it to a certain amount if some people may call that exclusivity um, I wouldn't but it's certainly you know a limitation to some extent mm. would probably be the, na the next step before a natural progression um, I, I don't know if we're ever going to get exclusivity in the market what I think we might see is an increase in the percentage of the number of exclusive listings mm. once property owners start to understand the you know, the benefits of doing so. Mm. And what from your side as the real estate agent, why do we like exclusivity? Do we want to push it? What are the myths and what are the benefits of it? Um, so exclusivity, for, for me, exclusivity gives the customer and the client a better experience on the sales transaction. So let's look at it from two perspectives, if, if we can. Let's look at it from the seller's perspective. So the seller's perspective, the, the motive is to sell the property within a timeline, at a price that's pre-agreed before they go to market. So before we go to market, what's really important from the seller perspective is that they invite a good qualified agent round to give a formal evaluation of the property. That was something in the UK market we used to do as a rule of thumb, mm. rule of thumb. You would invite an agent in, maybe two, three agents to present a formal valuation on the property and then draw conclusions from there. Um, I've certainly seen that much more, much more regularly now than, than I, I did a few years back, which is great because mm. then you get an understanding as the seller what the property is worth in the current market and it's, we're in a market, a booming market, should we say. So that, that is interesting. Um, so then 
I think that the best decision you can make is to employ the agent who gives you the best exposure of your property. Okay, because that's what it's about. Selling your property is maximum exposure in the marketplace. That doesn't have to be through four or five agents who, who are, are, are working at cross purposes. As an exclusive agent, I will collaborate with all agents in the marketplace, right? Um, we'll have the under contract form A through the Dubai REST app, and any agent is, is, is encouraged to bring buyers through that exclusivity, right? So agents can bring, I can bring buyers, um, and it works for the seller. So the seller gets relevant, clear feedback from their agent. What's the flip side to that? The flip side is for the buyer. The buyer wants to be able to ring an agent and arrange a viewing and see a property that's relevant to them. An exclusive agency agreement gives you that. An agent will do videography, photos. Again, it's a drive for quality. The property will be presented in fantastic quality. We'll draw on Property Finder's premium product, suite of products, the premium product, the verified listing. And it just leads to a much better customer experience for both the seller and the buyer, in my view. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's probably some controversy in the idea of exclusive listings, but any, any agent will tell you that it's a better experience for both mm. buyer and seller. I think if you do it right, because Adam already touched on there, you see exclusivity from some agents and they don't perform. And maybe for whatever reason, um, maybe there's assumptions there. I think you have to remove the assumptions that your exclusive, exclusivity is going to, um, you don't have to put them up as much effort in. No, it's absolutely the opposite. Absolutely. You have to put more effort in. And you know, a lot of companies may take exclusivity and keep it to themselves. And I actually think that's a real unjust to the sellers. Absolutely. I think your job is to expose the property and do that, as you said, collaborate with lots of agents. Yeah, which, absolutely, which, which is we something like. we actively do, right? Yeah. We, we encourage absolutely. that. Yeah. So we're for it, Adam. You're not so much, but yeah. we're coming <laughs> from two angles. You want the listings, we just want the exclusivity. Fair enough. <laughs> we, 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 we're fascinated with the customer journey and the customer experience, yeah. right? We want, that's, that's, that's where the obsession lies. So yeah. if we're delivering to the customer, then we're very happy with that. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm against that. I just, I'm not convinced that like you, you put touched upon a point there where you mentioned that it's down to the owner to invite people in and choose the right agent. I don't know if all owners are there yet. Mm. If they were, then maybe it would be a different conversation. Mm, yeah, we're quite old school, I think, in exclusive real estate. It's why we opened the shop, the retail, to have that face-to-face. Yeah. -face. And being from the UK, likewise, exactly what Absolutely. you said. Yep. You bring people in, you meet them, you have to feel out your agent, the knowledge, the experience, the rapport, and who do you want to choose to sell your property. Transparency. And don't yeah. take it lightly. Yeah, it's huge and I decision, think in right? Dubai, you know, they pick up the phone, somebody says, can I sell your property? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, oh, you know, if, if you do it right with the right people, you're going to have a better experience of the selling and the purchasing from that side, yeah. from the buying side. And it's a, it's, it's a very daunting prospect, buying or selling a house, right? Mm. Um, so you want experience, you want people who understand the process from A all the way through to the end of the transaction. Um, so quality over quantity. Uh, there we go again. Um, <laughs> so Dubai Land Department, um, and they obviously just released the transparency in their data, but how does Property Finder work with Dubai Land Department to support the real estate agents, the consumers, the, the market in general? How do you use work together? Very closely. I mean, obviously we've created the first price index, Moasha. Mm -hmm. um, so we've, we've always had a long co collaboration with RERA, um, starting from when the permits were issued. Uh, we wanted to validate these permits instantly to know if the uh, permit is valid or not. So we have an integration with uh, their system via an API where we validate all the newly published properties to make sure the permits themselves are valid and they're linked to that company. Uh, and now we're continually working with them. So now we're looking, exploring, surfacing information such as when a property was rented or sold, linking that to properties, uh, to listings, and then potentially either notifying brokers or, or, or taking it a level further. Mm -hmm. But we know they have a lot of data. 
making it public is, is a clear indication that they know the value of it and they want to share that information. Uh, we regularly use the Dubai REST app. If we're looking at a listing that we kind of think, I'm not really sure about this, we can quickly check the title deed number, we can validate an agent's license to make sure that it's legitimate and it's linked to the precise company. So we use their systems, we collaborate with them, they are very open to listening to our suggestions as well, which is fantastic. It's not just a, a one-way conversation whereby they tell us you should do this. It's very much you've done it. You've been in the industry a long time. You have a lot of people. You've worked on a lot of things. Tell us what we can do to make the whole experience better. Mm. So I, I love that. And actually, it's also starting to happen in Abu Dhabi as well. I know that okay. we're predominantly talking about Dubai here, but. Abu Dhabi, the Abu Dhabi municipality is looking to do the same thing okay. and we're again collaborating with them as well, using our experience of, of working with RERA. Um, I think that in, for the Dubai real estate market, the best thing to happen was RERA. Mm. Uh, it was very, it was a, a very shady jungle before that. Mm. Uh, a lot of properties, you know, no escrow account, no safety for investors. Um, no safety for tenants, particularly with that before the Ajari, I think layer by layer. They've made the, the real estate industry a better place and it wouldn't have thrived as much as it had mm. had there not been those blocks in place. Yeah, I think it brings a lot of security and safety and comfort. And I think as long as you want to do things right, it works really yeah. well. And I was saying to you before we started recording, you know, we get that uh, DLD notification as soon as a property ownership changes hands, the permits change yeah. and it's an automation to say, OK, remove it now. And it's a great backup for us to make sure our listings are accurate and available. So they work very closely with us to help yeah, us do great. our job as well. So, um, Chris, um, what would you like to see change in the industry in regards to marketing properties? So, um, I think from, from an agent perspective, um, Duplicate listings, I think we touched on it briefly. Uh, in Particularly at the moment, obviously, we're, we're in a market where there's uh, restrictive stock available, restrictive supply available, mm -hmm. and there, as we all know, there's, there's quite, a, quite a high level of brokers in the market, um, and we tend to suffer or tend to have to deal with duplicate listings whereby they're not necessarily uh, accurate uh, under contract with those particular brokerages that would be a wonderful a wonderful development I know we're all working very closely on improving all of those things and that's all parties all stakeholders um, but that would be a significant improvement for me from an agent perspective yeah. um, but other than that I think as, as Adam says all, all, all the great changes that have happened over the time, only the time that I've been here and certainly the time that you guys have been here have, be, have led to what we find ourselves in today, which is a, a market full of opportunity and dynamacy and ambition and, and um, yeah, it's great for, great for everybody yeah. really. You see the amount of investment, we were discussing it before, before, the, before the camera started rolling, the amount of investment and people relocating to Dubai, it's, it's, mm. it's exciting mm. and that's underpinned by a super real estate market mm. so absolutely we've been waiting for that maturity mm. and that increased confidence from international uh, investors that probably wouldn't even maybe looked at us three or four years ago no, you know in pre absolutely. pre pandemic um so adam is there any changes in property finder any enhancements coming on that you can share with us Ooh, uh, can't give away too <laughs> much your competition. don't want to give my secret sources away uh yes look we like i said we're continuing our collaboration with the with the dld mm. um we want to to leverage that data not not to further ourselves so much but just because we've touched upon this before the consumer experience the the service that agents can give a lot of it is is down to data People are very tech savvy these days. They, they know what they want. They know whether they want to be able to get everything at their fingertips. Our objective has always been to be almost a one-stop shop, to be that conduit between someone finding a property, mm -hmm. they hand over to a fantastic agent who covers the rest. Mm -hmm. And the, all the middle part, we want to be able to service that. Um, so this, this is what we're looking to do. Uh, we're constantly trying to upgrade the service that we have. 
We're starting to surface more information. I talked about adding checks. We've now got payment plans. We've added floor plans. We've got um, how, how old the building is. And we're going to continue in that vein mm -hmm. to start looking at availability dates and giving, we've asked questions. We do surveys where we ask people, what do you want to see? You're looking for a property, you want to buy, you want to rent, you want to sell. What do you want to see on a listing? What's mm. going to give you confidence? What's going to give you the information you want that we maybe aren't surfacing already? Mm. Um, so this is the direction we're taking in. And with the DLD, just constant collaboration. We want to see where they're going. We want to follow them. Uh, we want to help give them direction mm. and encourage them um, to continue to make things better. So we're just going to continue to work with them and um, hopefully get to a point where yeah, things are a little bit more clear cut for everybody. Mm. But uh, there's not there's nothing. Uh, sorry, I might have been very diplomatic there. Maybe not given not anything. given any of these trades. There's, no, there's, no, yeah, there. there's no big news flash. But no, uh, there, there's so many things cooking under the surface. Um, it's difficult to give you one thing because I just think all of the stuff that mm. we and the DLD and I'm sure our competitors and the agents are doing is fantastic. Mm. It's all sailing in the right direction, as you talked about now, Dubai is perceived very differently. It's not some place out in the middle of nowhere. It's, mm. it's a hub of activity. It, it's an amazing place to live and do business. For sure. And uh, I just think that I know there's a place for us in this sphere of an industry, and uh, we just want to make sure that we keep pushing and striving. Mm. Everybody's contributing to the same yeah. direction. In Dubai's land department, the data, um, but I think what you you probably find to do is take it one step further where you organize that data and take what people want to see out of that and put that on your platform. You yeah. know, if they want to see the average prices, it's all sorted mm. for them, all packaged up in a, a nice little present for them in one place. That's the plan, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and do you think generally, we have talked about Dubai maturing, but do you think um, the compliance in Dubai is more relaxed than other parts of the world? Are we, are we, are we really there right now where we mm. are more regulated? I thought well, Dubai has so many laws around privacy and online. I think it's probably more regulated well, than some yeah. places. I think maybe, maybe there's things that aren't there, but I think it's like, it's like crime in general in this country. The, the laws are very clear and they're well enforced. So you don't need a lot of laws mm. if everyone is compliant. The compliance laws expand when people are not compliant. Mm. So I think here we've got, in terms of going back to real estate, there's good regulation and, and RERA has constantly added to that. Um, is, is there more that can be done? Of course, always. there's always more that can be done, but I don't think we're in a bad place and I don't think that there's glaring gaps that are, are, are being exploited. Mm. Um, so I'm, I'm, I feel that as the, com as, as the country progresses, as the industry progresses, they will just add little things on mm. that will just make things a bit better. As, as and when things yeah. are needed, for sure. And Chris, we've got Adam on the hot seat. Yes. Anything you want to, suggestions you want to have for property finder while we've, we've got Yes, so the, I, I, will, I will mention two things that, that we were discussing the other <laughs> Do day. Do you want a pen and write these down? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll mention two, two things that we were discussing actually the other day with Ines, our account manager. Uh, one is this new, these two new uh, application for the agent effectively, where we can log in and see effectively price sensitive feedback and the quality of the photos we've put up, which is a brilliant initiative. So again, what that works towards is the quality of the products that I'm presenting to the market. So I, I can see feedback on the quality of my photos and see feedback on the quality of the price. And mm. when I say the quality of the price, I mean the market price. They're so doing their job for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Um, so those two things, these are recent, recent yeah, initiatives yeah. that you guys have introduced. And um, from agent perspective and, and, and the service I can deliver into the market, make, that's, a, that's a great, great thing. Um, no, and, and from my perspective, Property Finder is essential to my, my agency business, my business myself. Um, they drive me really good quality leads off the back of verified listings. So keep up the good work. Thank you very much for all your efforts. Thanks. And uh, we'll win some awards this year again, I suppose. Absolutely. <laughs> is that right? Always. It's not up to me, yeah. but you know what? Um, I know, but you're, you're always, a good word. You're always in the running, that's for sure. Leeds best team. In no. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Anybody got anything more they would like to add? Mm -hmm. 
just thanks for having me, Louise. Oh, thank you and, for being uh, here. Great to spend some time with you, Chris. Yes. Yeah, it's great to have special guests and, and, and one you. of our own team. So thank you again, Jen. Nice so it's good, the good, good chat, everything. good conversation. Good. Um, thank you very much for tuning in to Property Talk from Louise's Lounge. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And like always, if you have any feedback or any suggestions on future episodes, please do let us know. Thank you.